Hey guys, quick video here to capture a bench test of this CM Jets tank. Thought it might be easier than trying to uh, articulate all this on RCU. Um, so let's see, let's see how this goes. But um, this is not my first CM Jets tank. It's my first combo tank where there's fuel and smoke as part of the same unit. I don't think it's two tanks. I visually inspected it. I think it's actually one tank with a divider. Um, the other tanks I've gotten, I've got a set in my Rebel, but it's an actual fuel tank and a smoke tank, so there's never any concern of cross-contamination there, and they work really well, never had any issues with them. But this tank specifically, I, um, I want to make sure that, you know, I want to perform two tests. Test one is, I don't want any cross-contamination, so I left the clunk line out for the smoke compartment. I'm going to fill the uh, fuel compartment up. Uh, test the vent line. That's the second test. I want to make sure that the air bubble ends up where it's supposed to and then it overflows. I want to kind of run that test a couple times both in and out. I also want to slosh it around to make sure it's secure. The line's not going to come loose. I have visually inspected it and it does look like it is safety wired on the inside. So that's a plus. That's good. Um, but again, I left this out, this clunk line out so that I can visually inspect. I want to make sure there's no fuel kind of getting in there and it's all dry. I made sure it was dry so that I wouldn't confuse any fluids in there. So I'll go ahead and run the test. Got my Jersey Modeler here. Um, got it turned down pretty low. Let me speed it up a little bit just to... I don't think any of my... I don't think any of my fittings are leaking. I do have it on paper towels just so I can kind of spot things pretty quick. If I do have a leak, turn it up a little bit. I don't want to turn it up too fast. Um, it does increase pressure and I am worried about this vent line being, uh, I think six millimeter tubing. Should be fine, but I just don't want to over pressurize the tank. So, steady Eddie. Something kind of interesting is the level does seem to come up pretty quick. Uh, it's a little bit of an optical illusion. Obviously this lower section is smoke, right? So the bottom of the fuel tank's right here. Um, so you do see the level pop up quick, but then it slows down because it needs to kind of fill the entire volume of it. But um, that just caught me by surprise a little bit. It's a little bit of an optical illusion because you're not actually using the whole lower area unless you're filling it up with smoke. I like to cap, capture or catch these types of problems on the bench, uh, much easier to clean than in the jet. Um, you know, once you start filling things with fuel and oil in the jet and you do discover a leak or an issue, uh, it's just a mess. You know, you've got electronics in there, you've got painted surfaces in there and, and it just, you know, it just becomes an issue to, to get back to where you were. So I'd rather find those problems here. I'm also wearing gloves. Uh, I think I've exposed myself to, uh, or I've been exposed to fuel too many times, and uh, I feel like it just sticks to my skin and it irritates me the whole afternoon. So um, typically when I fly, I don't wear gloves, but I try to keep my hands clean. And here I thought, hey, look, there might be a, an emergency, so <laughs> might as well wear some gloves. So looks like we're getting to the climax, maybe, where we overflow. Hope you guys can see the, the air bubble. My hope is that it ends up right here before it starts to, to overflow. And that's exactly what it did. So that's filling. There's literally no air in the tank at all, it doesn't look like. So um, I don't think I can capture. Yeah, I didn't think I would be able to. I'm gonna have to capture that off camera, but I will, uh, I've got a flashlight. I'm gonna visually inspect the smoke tank, but I'm gonna do this a couple times and um, make sure that it's working the way I want it to. I'll fill it, empty it, fill it, empty it, 
and uh, and determine I'm I'm happy with it. And like I said, I'm going to move it around, slosh it, make sure it's secure in there, and uh, and just test to make sure that uh, it's not cross contaminating. Um, I think Carlos makes pretty good tanks. I'm pretty confident it's going to be fine. But like I said, I don't want to find these types of issues in the jet, so I'd rather find them here on the bench. I hope this. Um, this video is useful to some of you that are considering this tank. I, I wouldn't hesitate to uh, to make a purchase. A uh, He does a good job and great service. So um, enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.